Unit 2, Tape Script 2.1. D. Well, my country's got a population of uh, about three and a half million, so it's not a big place. Most of the people are from Europe, but about 12% are Maori. They were the original inhabitants. A lot of people live in bungalows, which are small houses on one floor. It's a very beautiful country. It's got a lot of mountains and people love the countryside. Oh, and we're very good at rugby and cricket. E. My country is the northern part of a bigger country, but we've got our own parliament. There are just over five million of us. We've got a lot of mountains and there are also lots of rivers, lakes and islands. People come to my country to fish. Our salmon is famous all over the world. F. I come from a big country. It has a lot of wide open spaces. We have a population of almost 300 million, and these people have come from all over the world. We have big cosmopolitan cities, but a lot of people live on farms, ranches, and in small towns. We like baseball and football our kind of football. And we love to eat burgers with fries and apple pie and ice cream. Tape script 2.2 do you have a car? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Have you got a car? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. I don't have a computer. I haven't got a computer. Tape script 2.3 Where does he come from? Is she married? Does she have any brothers and sisters? Has he got any children? How many brothers and sisters has she got? What does he do? What does she do in her free time? Where do they go on holiday? What's she doing at the moment? Tape script 2.4 Have breakfast. Wash my hair. Watch TV. Talk to my friends. Make a cup of tea. Listen to the radio. Relax on the sofa. Do my homework. Have a shower. Clear up the mess. Do the washing up. Have or put posters on the wall. Cook a meal. Send emails. Put on makeup. Read magazines. Tape script 2.5 Good morning and welcome to today's lifestyle programme, A 24-7 Society. Over 8 million people now work at night. 
what do they do, and why do they need to do it? Our reporter, Richard Morris, finds out. Well, it's 8pm on a Thursday night, and I'm in a BMW car factory where they make the Mini. The night workers are arriving now. With me is Jerry Horn. Jerry, tell me, what hours do you work? I work 12 hours a night, four times a week. And do you like it? Well, it was difficult at first, but it's okay now. And the money's good. I can earn much more working at night. Why do people work at night here? Because the robots do. The robots make a lot of each car, but we finish them. And the Mini is very popular, so we need to make 200,000 a year. That's amazing. Are there any problems working at night? Well, the main problem is that you need to be very careful between the hours of 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock in the morning. That's when accidents happen. Right. Thanks, Jerry. And have a good night. It's nearly midnight, and most people are in bed already. But I'm driving around the city streets in a taxi belonging to Afsal Akram. What time do you start your shift, Afsal? About 11.30, usually. There are usually plenty of customers at that time, wanting to get home after a night out, and that can last till about two in the morning. But the real business comes after that, on airport trips. Lots of people fly in the early hours of the morning to get the cheap tickets. They know they'll need a taxi to the airport at that time, but it's still a cheap way to get off on holiday. So, is that families? Yes, with kids usually. They're either incredibly excited to be up at that time and going on holiday, or fast asleep. <laughs> Do you prefer the night shift to the day shift? Definitely. You get a bit of trouble from younger people sometimes, but generally people are friendlier during the night. There's something about being out alone with a stranger when the rest of the world is asleep. I think people feel a strong connection with you, and they open up sometimes. And obviously it's a dream to drive on empty streets, not a car to be seen most of the time. I try to finish by seven before the traffic starts up. You just have to keep a careful eye on the speedometer in case there's a bored policeman driving around. It's now one o'clock in the morning, and I'm in the co-op bank. I'm sitting next to Doreen. At night, this telephone banking centre only has six workers. Doreen, what hours do you work? I work from Sunday to Wednesday, from 10pm to 7am. Aha. Uh -huh. And what do you think of the job? I love it. We're like a family at night. We're all good friends, and the work is more relaxed. Customers aren't in a hurry at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Are there any disadvantages? Well, it's bad for you. You need to look after your health. If you don't, you'll get ill. But it's okay for me. I could never sleep at night anyway. Well, it's four o'clock in the morning and I'm feeling very sleepy. I'm in the local supermarket with Dan. So, Dan, when did you start work? At midnight. I finish in two hours' time at six o'clock. But some weeks I work during the day. The difficult thing is changing from day working to night working. Any other problems? Well, often it isn't easy to see my friends. They're going out and I'm going to work. <laughs> and at weekends, sometimes I sleep all day. My mum doesn't like that much. So why do you do it? For the money, really. And I don't mind working at night. Thanks, Dan. So there you are. I'm off to bed now. Good night. Tape script 2.6. 1. Hello. What's your name? Hans. I'm James. I'm a teacher. And where are you from? Berlin. What do you do? I'm a student. Hmm. And uh, how long have you been here in London, Hans? Two months. Are you having a good time? Mm, yes. Um. Can I get you a coffee? No. Um, 
Are you missing your family at all? No. Have you got any brothers or sisters? Yes. Uh, oh. Um, what do they do? They are students too. Oh, well, uh, I've got a class now. Uh, goodbye, Hans. Bye. Two. Hello. What's your name? Jamal. And what's your name? Stephen. Where are you from, Jamal? I come from Dubai, the fastest growing city in the world. <laughs> and you, Steve? Where do you come from? I'm from Scotland. What do you do in Dubai, Jamal? I'm an architect. Oh, really? Yes. And Dubai is a good place to be an architect. There's an incredible amount of new construction going on there. How interesting. How long have you been a teacher, Steve? It's Stephen, actually, not Steve. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought you said Steve. That's OK. a y It's just that I don't like being called Steve for some reason. <laughs> I've been teaching here for five years. And do you enjoy it? Yes, very much. I meet a lot of people from all sorts of different countries, and I really like that. Are you enjoying it here? Oh, yes, very much. I'm learning a lot of English, and I'm making a lot of friends. The family I'm staying with are very friendly, and even the weather's good most of the time. <laughs> well, you can't depend on that. Can I get you a coffee, Jamal? Sure, that would be great. There's enough time before classes, isn't there? Yes, it's only... Tape script 2.7. One. What a lovely day it is today. Yes, beautiful, isn't it? Two. It's very wet today. Mmm, horrible. Makes you feel miserable, doesn't it? Three. How are you today? I'm very well, thanks. How about you? Four. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, it was lovely. We had lunch and went for a walk. Five. How do you find living in London? I'm enjoying it. It was a bit strange at first, but I'm getting used to it. Six. Did you have a good journey? Yes, no problems. The plane was a bit late, but it didn't matter. Seven. Did you watch the football yesterday? No, I missed it. Was it a good game? Eight. What a lovely jacket you're wearing. Thank you. I got it in Paris last year. Nine. If you have any problems, just ask me for help. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Ten. Excuse me, is this your scarf? Yes, it is. Thank you. Where did you find it? Tape script 2.6 1 Hello. What's your name? Hans. I'm J. Tape script 2.6. 1. Tape script 2.7. 1. What a lovely day.